Hi, Brian Ochola here once again and welcome back to my studio. I'm working on a different subject today. I passed by this place and found a bunch of old grounded public transport vehicles. I was inspired by how they looked. The cracks of fillers in their bodies, the rusts, the darts in their bodies, and the broken doors and other parts just made it an interesting subject to paint. And so, I'm going to paint this old public transport van known as the Matatu. I am working on a 9 by 12 inches canvas panel that has been torn down using burnt sienna mixed with turpentine. I then begin sketching my composition with a pencil. Then I begin the underpainting by putting in shadows first, which serves as a base for subsequent layers. Underpaintings are often monochromatic and help to define color values for later painting. I then begin blocking in the painting. And as always, I'm not so much concerned with my details yet. Therefore, I use larger brushes. In this case, I'm using an half inch Bristol flat brush. Also, I do not need to be entirely accurate with my color matching from my reference yet. The blocking in process provides me with a rough guide for the rest of my oil painting. To start the blocking in process, I work from the farthest point away in the distance, usually the sky, then pull forward to the foreground. With this small size painting surface, it will take me about 3 to 4 hours to complete blocking in. And so my number one tip for this stage is, paint loose and do not worry so much about details. It is just a guide for the next layers. After the blocking in is complete, I leave it for 24 hours to dry before proceeding to the next step. And this is because I'm using Winsor Newton Liquid Original, which makes my painting dry much faster. Now in the next step, I call the construction stage. I begin shaping my form skinny and also paying more attention to what my colors are doing. I blend transitions and also sharpen the edges of the foam while closely observing my reference. Here I'm using a smaller brush as compared to the previous stage, mainly synthetic round number two and a double zero. I'm also holding back with my brightest tone because using them will make my painting look washed out after it is finished and therefore I plan to use them towards the end of the painting. I also hold myself back from adding too much detail, even 
when the frenzy is coming in. My number one tip for this stage is make it look realistic by shaping the forms accurately and it is too early to add the details.
I then move to the last stage after the painting has taken a good shape, which is detailing. This is usually the final stage in my painting process. Here I add tiny marks to bring an illusion of details. This old vehicle has cracks within its body. So I'm trying to mimic this by adding dark marks with a very bright one next to it. This brings an illusion of realism, especially when you view the painting from a distance. I'm also using my smallest brush here because some of these marks are extremely tiny. I also decided to go on a different direction with the wheels of these vehicles. I decided to do away with the wheels entirely. I did this to make the vehicle look more grounded because that was the main idea of the painting. Also change the background to avoid distraction from the main subject. finally wind up with the foreground, painting it with a combination of burnt sienna, ultramarine blue, primary cadmium yellow and titanium white, mixing with 25% Winsor Newton liquid medium. I then add that details, starting with the shadows first and then add highlights. This painting turned out really well and it has influenced me to do more subjects like this because I love how old vehicles look like. If you like the video, please subscribe for more videos like this and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Also like, share and leave me a comment down below. See you in the next video.